Welcome to the future of work in Guatemala. In this video, we'll show you what we think about the future of work here and we'll give you a tiny little glimpse into the beauty of this country. Is it dangerous coming here? Yes, it can be. Should you visit Guatemala anyway? We would say yes. For sure. <laughs> Can you believe it? Because it is unbelievable on our global modern work tour. Guatemala is country number 15. Bam. Yes! In the beginning we would never have thought that this is possible. <laughs> we are so proud and so grateful and we know that we are privileged to do this kind of journey of a lifetime. Guatemala City is a city where it's difficult to get your hands on. And there are some you should visit for sure and some you should definitely not go to. We went to really nice restaurants and cafes and have to say people were so friendly and hospitable here. We really liked it. We loved it. We loved it. True. <laughs> Our really awesome Airbnb was also a game changer here and we felt really really home. So true. We had many remote work sessions, so all the rooms and the good vibe was amazing for us. Could you get up at 1 a.m. in order to rock your work from 2 a.m. on due to the time difference? For us, it is still tough, but we have enough purpose to push us through. If you have any tips about get up so early, please let us know. Because we will do a video about that quite soon. But now let's dive into the future of work and modern ways of working here in Guatemala City. We had just two meetings due to time and our busy schedule, but those two meetings were amazing. So we will share what we learned. First, we met with Kai Henke from the German Chamber of Commerce and Trade. He works a lot with the private sector and has interesting insights about that. He, for example, told us that in moments of crisis, the private sector starts initiatives for the society before the government even thinks about that. Because they are faster and have the willpower to support people and country. With that, they also create brands where already young people want to work for. I think that's amazing. Do you have similar experience within your company? Let us know because I think that's really interesting. All over the world we experience that local support and really caring about the people within your country is a key factor when it comes to modern work and healthy societies. So even if you inspire globally, you have to act local as well. Our meeting with Francis in the Zona tent was amazing. He has deep insights into the country and has amazing ideas for the future. Right now, he is creating a new platform for collaboration and connecting beyond boundaries. Oh, we love that. Francis told us that Guatemala is still way behind its potential. For him, the challenge is that people need to be brave enough to follow their purpose-driven ideas and put them into practice. Even a failing is always a likely result where you can learn from. So no surprise here because in Guatemala you also can find modern ways of working and people who are shaping the future of work. After being here we really needed a break. We traveled quite fast through Central America and it was time to relax and do something for our minds, hearts and souls. Namaste. This is our last country in Central America on our Global Modern Work Tour. So we decided to go to the beautiful Lake Atitlan. Yeah, for a really nice yoga retreat. And it was so worth it. It was like a holistic experience for body, mind and soul. And we refreshed ourselves and recharged our batteries for the next further journey on our Global Modern Work Tour. We also got to know amazing people like the yoga instructor Anne 
or the Cacao Ceremony Embracer Myra. The lake experience and the beautiful little home called Little Prince because I don't know if you know that this area around Lake Attilan inspired the author of The Little Prince with the volcanoes was so amazing and the energy was really intense. In a good way? Intense in a very good way. Nice. <laughs> in a good way because we got our inner tranquilo moment. And the energy was really needed because we had to go further on a 25 hours bus ride from Guatemala to Mexico. And we had not the best seats, it was in between super cold and super hot and the altitude was crazy, like 3000 meters in between, we didn't know that actually. Next on our global journey is North America. Do you know amazing people in Mexico City? in Miami, Washington, New York, or also Montreal, Ottawa, and Toronto? Let us know in the comments. We are looking really forward to visit North America. And like always, take care. Stay bold. And ciao, ciao. ciao. Do you have similar experience within your country? And as always, <laughs> that was it. if you find this video also so funny as we are, please push the like button. <laughs> Can you please push the like button? Please. <laughs>